if you're fully vaccinated, it's very, very unlikely you end up in an ICU or on a ventilator or dying from COVID, which is fantastic news. When the vaccines first came out, the data from the clinical trials was really positive about preventing illness. There wasn't data about whether the vaccine prevented transmission. So several things have happened. One is that the real world experience with the vaccines is equal to the clinical trials because we weren't sure that the actual you know, experience in the public of the vaccines would be as good as the clinical trials. And the, certainly the mRNA vaccines have proven to be as good or better uh, in, in the clinical trials in preventing illness. Um, but the most important thing is that there's more and more data that the vaccines cut way, way down on transmission. And that we just didn't know from the, the trials they weren't set up that way. So now we know these vaccines are incredibly effective in preventing illness. Um, and they're really effective in preventing transmission. There's still exceptions to being mass free, including transportation, you know, buses, airplanes, et cetera, um, hospitals. Um, and I think people who are immunocompromised um, should probably still continue to wear masks until the virus really isn't circulating in the community. The model of herd immunity was already always um, just a model. And, and, you know, people didn't know for sure. And I think that where the populations, you know, more than half vaccinated, we're seeing cases drop a lot. So I think the CDC feels comfortable uh, that A, everyone's had an opportunity to get a vaccine. And even with, you know, less than 70%, um, we're seeing cases drop a lot. And again, you know, if 50 or 60% of the population has been vaccinated, of the other 40%, probably half of them might have had COVID, so have some protection. So even if we're at 50 or 60%, we're probably getting close to 70% of people with some immunity. Um, we know that the vaccine immunity is much better than natural infection immunity, but still that probably helps cut down in transmission. There's still people, even if they're vaccinated, they're still anxious and will wear a mask indoors in public. So we, we should not judge. I, I hope that we respect people who wear masks for whatever reason.